Instagram's Threads app now lets you organize your posts better by adding topic tags. YouTube says users with ad blockers may experience delays in videos loading on their browser. TikTok releases a new music trends report with key user trends and behavior patterns. All these exciting news items and much more coming up in this 220th weekly episode of the Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Welcome. This is the show that brings you the top five digital, social media, AI and Web3 news that you need to know for this week in just five minutes. Let's get started. Last week, some YouTube users reported that they are experiencing a five second delay in video load time in certain browsers which were not Chrome browsers like Firefox. And this was reported in the news site Android Authority, which was published as though YouTube is delaying videos in non-Chrome browsers. But later, YouTube has issued an official statement to that website clarifying that it is not about the browsers, but it's about ad blockers which is a whole new interesting angle to the story. YouTube says we've launched an effort to urge viewers with ad blockers enabled to allow ads on YouTube or try YouTube premium for an ad-free experience. Users who have ad blockers installed may experience suboptimal viewing regardless of the browser. So is YouTube penalizing users for having ad blockers? Meta has announced that they are opening up access to their content library and API tools for independent data research. They have partnered with ICPSR, which is Inter-University Consortium for Political and Social Research, to allow researchers to analyze that data. This is Meta's effort to be more transparent and also be confirming to various regulatory issues that they have been facing. After 2018, Meta allowed only restricted access to all the data, especially after the Cambridge Analytica thing that they faced. But now they seem to be opening up again, which is a good thing. And if you are a nonprofit focusing on any kind of data research for social causes, then you might want to make a note of this information. TikTok has released a new report called Music Impact Report. If you are in music ministry or if you are in a non-profit that focuses on the music space, then this is something you might want to pay attention to because it has a lot of interesting user behavioral trends and patterns. This report was put together by an organization commissioned by TikTok called Luminate. So it has a lot of information about how TikTok is good for music discovery. But leaving those aside, if you just focus on the user behaviors and pattern, then you will glean a lot of insights from this report. For example, it says how people are willing to spend across music related categories. And also it talks about how people are engaged with musicians, how they want to have global music access and so on. We will link to the report in the show notes. Have a look. If you are not at part of our broadcast channels on Instagram or WhatsApp, do check out these QR codes. We've got these links on the description as well. These are one-way private communication groups on Instagram and WhatsApp. So this is basically a channel where you will receive breaking news, tips, strategies, all within Instagram and WhatsApp. So if you use those two apps a lot, then this might be something that you want to check out. The CEO of X, Elon Musk, announced that they are bringing back post head lines to link previews. What this means is when you share a URL or a link in X platform, you will now have the post headline appearing as an overlay on top of that image. Now, this is being brought back because originally it was there in the Twitter platform. And later when Elon Musk took over, he thought it was not looking great. So he removed that feature and said, when you share a link, all you will see is the preview of the image. But the problem was when you see an image, you didn't have a context of what that image was saying. So that headline or one or two lines describing the story was missing. And now they are bringing it back which is a good thing. If you use X platform for your ministry, then you will start seeing those post headlines. Threads app is testing a new feature which will help you organize your posts better on the platform. You can now tag your posts by topics which is an interesting experiment that they are starting in Australia. As per the CEO, Adam Mazzeri, in his threads post, he said, we are rolling out a test in Australia that lets you tag topics on threads to categorize your post by interest or 
theme. When you post your uh, thread, just right below your post, you will see a hashtag button. And if you click on the hashtag button, which is like a regular select your hashtag type of thing that you've seen on Instagram, you will see the hashtags. But right at the top, you will also see a button that says add a tag with a plus button. For example, if you are releasing threads related to certain Bible verses or some themes like faith or hope or love, you can do that. So a great way to organize your threads. If you've not yet subscribed to our channel, this might be a good time to hit that subscribe button. You can always stay on top of news and tips and strategies and other things that we share on this channel exclusively for the faith-based community. Do subscribe.